This is your Buttrick EB6100, so congratulations on purchasing yours. When you take it out of the box, this is everything that you're going to get. Your extension table will be in the polystyrene packaging just down the side of the box. I'll show you how to put that on in just a second. There'll be a foot pedal in there as well, although you don't need to use the foot pedal with this machine. And then inside the accessory compartment, which is this box on the front of the machine here, there will be a bag with all of your spare bits and bobs inside. For instance, we've got three extra bobbins for you. We have a free motion or darning foot, so you can do some lovely decorative work, you can do mending with this foot, and there's a very special tacking stitch on this machine as well, which I'll show you in another video. That's a stitch that I love. And when you're using the free motion foot, you're going to need your darning plate, and this slips over the feed teeth at the bottom of the machine to stop them pulling the fabric through. You also have an overedge foot, there are overedge stitches on the machine as well, and this takes the thread just slightly over the edge of your fabric to help stop it from fraying, so that gives you a professional, long-lasting result. This one here with the blue bits on the end is a button placement foot, so you can sew buttons on with this machine. You probably need a buttonhole then, so this is your buttonhole foot, and this is the type of foot that measures the size of your button, so you get the perfect size buttonholes every single time. You have a zipper foot. This allows the needle to go right up to the edge of your fabric, so perfect for not just sewing in zips, but for things like piping as well. This one is your satin stitch foot, which is clear, so you can see straight through it, and it has two little bars on the bottom that raise the foot away from the stitches slightly, because satin stitches tend to be three-dimensional. Haven't finished yet. We have the blind hemming foot, so now on your garments or on your curtains you can do invisible hemming. Then you have your quick unpick, because things do go wrong sometimes, so that'll unpick the stitches for you. Um, we've got your spool holders and your spool cap and a spare spool because you can do twin needle sewing with this machine as well. And in the packet of spare needles that you're getting, there's even a twin needle inside there for you to have a play with. There's a couple of screwdrivers. Um, this one is actually a screwdriver. You may not recognize it as such, but this one is going to help you uh, undo the needle clamp when you're changing the needle. So that's everything that you're going to find inside the box. Before we get going, I've plugged the foot pedal into the side of the machine. I've put the power pedal in there, or the power plug in there. I'm going to take down the leg on the extension table, slip this over the free arm. You might have to lift the machine slightly and slip that in place. So now we need fabric and thread and we're ready to sew.